all right all right we've got yet another here cinematic look what is the cinematic look it is underexposed it's got low amount of contrast it has desaturated colors but we've got quite saturated colors in this one i really love the sort of style the filmic cinematic style i'd probably call it we are working with these shots here so we have the raw image and we're trying to replicate his editing i'll try to teach you guys process of doing that so we've got really warm tones on our right and then we've got quite often green tones in the middle of his feed and then blue on the left so his link's down in the description go give him a follow let him know you found him through this tutorial okay so this video is sponsored by pixel art so a really easy to use photo editing application online so it's super easy to just do adjustments and stick around to the end because you'll see exactly how we use this to complete this image and do this tutorial it's free and down in the description for you to try all right all right let's make this image cinematic so obviously looking at the top left here this is our one let's check out the cropping so if we go reset this is how much we've cropped into the image so it's like a 40 megapixel camera 2.8 70 millimeter nothing special going on in the settings here come down you can see it was taken on a canon 24 to 70 what we'll do we'll just sort of like white balance the image a bit so we're just going to cool it down a bit as you can see it's like kind of a bit warm and then like to you look at the whites of the eye you sort of don't want this greeny tone to the whites of the eye so we're going to go this way as well with the purple and if we just look at the before and after you know, it looks a bit better a bit more white balance the eyes are a bit more white what we'll do is turn on the curves now as you can see this darkens the image quite a bit because we're bringing down a lot of this curve now the cinematic look is quite often a darker image it's not bright and punchy so this sort of curve works quite well we've got this one here this is giving that fade um, and then we've got the fade to the whites as well which you can't see much of right now but it's gonna fade out those whites at the top and then playing around with this one yeah that's the curves we went for right so up here we're gonna brighten up to counteract some of those curve adjustments we did so a bit of this image is gonna come down to brushes and stuff so the adjustments I make now might not make heaps of sense like I'm darkening the image too much we'll just keep going I think his style often brings down the highlights like just going by other images and other images I've done gonna bring down the shadows as well but just I'm gonna come in with filters and like brighten the eye and stuff so I'm gonna bring down the shadows just for like this area up top you'll see later how that works um, and then let's just keep the image kind of bright keep the blacks down a little right so here texture just practically blurs the image so we, we're gonna go for a real nice smooth look uh, clarity as well it's slightly different but we're gonna drop this because we want a soft creamy look to the image and dehaze kind of adds contrast kind of darkens the image i think it's a nice effect that he might be using and then we want some vibrance as well because his image have a lot of punch with the tones so if we come down and just real quickly do some of these so we want like more more reds to some of these tones oh, we look quite yellow and orange we want more of like this pink so let's just try to get that a little bit before we start working on some filters reds let's just bring in a bit more pinks and then everything needs to be brought down in saturation and then let's just brighten the skin a bit here so like we're obviously looking a little dark but we're going to fix that up soon but if we come down to shadows let's add in some nice blues so a hue of 226 saturation that but then in the highlights gonna really warm it up okay so now we're gonna get into the filters which will um, make the exposure good here we have this one here it is just the entire eye the whites and the purples bring up the exposure and a bit of contrast now we get quite similar brightness let's go to this mask which is just the outside of the eye really bring down the texture so this sort of gives a blur to the outside of the image really softening it and making sure the middle of the image is the focus the pupil is the focus just really softening the outside of the image got this one now which is actually the same so it's just doing the same thing affecting the outside of the eye so we're going to do the same going to really drop the texture clarity down so now we start to get that smoothness to the image that we want and now if we grab this one this is the pupil of the, well, the 
yeah, the iris and stuff. So let's exposure first. I'm gonna bring in some warmth just because he has very little blues in it. Oh, exposure up where it was, just to bring out all the rich yellows. Clarity we're gonna bring in here just to bring out that contrast and detail to the eye, bring out more of its colors. Sharpness just to make it really stand out. So uh, this one here, last one, so the whites of the eye. So we'll just like make them a bit more white by just shifting them towards the blue. It will maybe a bit warm, bit yellow. Go that way. And then we'll do the same. Let's bring down the texture to soften it. Just making sure the middle of the eye is the main thing we want to look at and everything else is nice and smooth. Very much there. Bump up saturation here. If we come back to hues. Greens, there's a little bit of greens in the eyes. I think we need to go this way. So someone commented, hey man, I really enjoy your YouTube toots and your course looks really amazing, but why should it be better for me to join the course than just to continue watching your YouTube channel? What's the advantage? Honest question, because I really want to buy your course. And the truth is that they're very different. So these YouTube videos is me taking you through the settings, giving them to you as quickly as possible. Move this, move that. Course, we go much more in depth into really important topics like the curves. There's full lessons on the curves. Why would you use HSL rather than curves? Or why would you use curves instead of the sliders? Why would you place colors with the curves than placing them in with split toning, for example? What are the keys to balance and colors? So really in depth things you need to know to understand the why behind creating styles, creating an image that looks cohesive with color and contrast. What's the differences between different curve styles? Just really gritty things that we go really in depth in is in the course. Not to mention you get a ton of raw images from these YouTube tutorials to follow along with all the guest editors. So you get the raw image and the preset and them telling you exactly how they get their style. Not me guessing like in these YouTube tutorials are giving you the exact raw image preset and process to their editing. So over 500 people have been in your exact position where they have watched my YouTube tutorials, wanted to go to the next level and have joined the course now. And everyone has really loved it. So you can come over to the website and you can read and watch everyone's feedback that is currently in the course because it's been going for quite a while now. Come and read them and watch them and see if it's answering the questions you have in your head like practically just the why behind all our movements in Lightroom is the really big why that we tackle but there's heaps of questions like what's the difference between curves and sliders? What's the order of tools you should edit in? All these really hard things to explain in these YouTube tutorials that will just make it go on for hours is in the course so if you you're ready to go to the next level just come over and read all the testimonials see if it's answering the questions you've got in your head about editing and here's some feedback from people that directly relates to this question so the course perfectly complements your youtube channel you have over 200 plus amazing tutorials for free on youtube Dyslexia. You have 200 plus amazing tutorials on YouTube for free, but now that I've been in your course for a few weeks, it has given me much more depth and value to your YouTube tutorials because I can now follow and understand them now. I couldn't see how you could offer more value than you already do on YouTube, but now I do, and everyone learning from your YouTube should invest in this course. And then this person says I'm inside the course weekly and I'm also still watching the YouTube tutorials. Just proves the fact that they're quite different and quite separate. You learn different things, but they're both super valuable. I've been contacted a few times on Instagram by people asking me about your course. I always give the highest recommendations. By the way, my FaceTime buddies keep asking me what has given me the tremendous jump in my color grading and I keep telling them to go check out your YouTube videos and the course, the price holds them back, which I understand, but I tell them that I was hesitant because of the price, but it turned out to be a great investment. So come watch and read all the testimonials, guys, and yeah, let's just get into this tutorial. Um, then I'm just gonna, a little bit of grain, hardly noticeable, hardly notice it drop the sharpening a little to keep it nice and naturally looking um i think we just look a little too crunchy back up top it's going to drop the contrast now what we'll do is just settings copy and let's go over to our next image this one the bottom image here let's paste and as you can see we've still got to do a lot to this image 
Okay, so let's just reset the white balance and stuff. That can stay how it was. Just make sure profile corrections, yep. Um, curves can come on. Okay, so things look a little crazy right now. Let's just get things looking normal. Um, contrast. Highlights down so we can see more at the back there. Definitely shadows come up. And then whites down. And now we have like kind of nice exposure. It's this sort of our color that looks real bad. I'll just bring texture back to uh, zero. Um, our tones are pretty off. So let's just real quickly do that. Reset some of these. You can already see that yeah, we're getting pretty close. Back up top, let's just drop the whites a bit more. But what I've already actually done in this image is I've got this mask here, which is just brightening our subject, all right? Here's before and after. So we've just got um, a mask. So that's all we've got there. So just remember that's there. Bit of clarity. Um, we want more orange as the skin tone, so we're going to go towards more of a red, yellows. So at the moment they look a little green, go this way. And then our greens, thinking of bringing them towards a warmer tone. Out there, I'm going to get rid of the highlight blues. The shadows, I'm going to add a bit more blue. More of a teal. Just, just like looking right up the whites, like I just feel like there's a bit of a like a blue teal there. Well, this is shadows, but I think there's a hint of blue in the shadows, which sort of helps get out greens. Um, highlights, I'm also going to do just give us a tiny bit of blue there. Yeah, now I think our tones are looking really good. Um, I think this image could do with some vignetting. So like it's a bit dark down the bottom. I think this left side's quite dark. I think everything's a bit dark around the edges, so we're going to go like this, just a bit. Maybe should bring that up. Uh, midpoint, let's just bring it in a bit. Maybe grain up a bit for this one. Okay, I'm just not quite happy with the curve. I think yeah, so you can see how it's a bit brighter in his whites. So what I'm going to do is just delete some of these. I'm just going to make sure our whites stay quite bright by bringing this point up and then I think it looks a little dark um, I'm gonna go like this get a bit more smooth maybe less fade there's quite a bit of fade if you look at your pants I don't want that much fade I'm just gonna drop, drop black point a bit you can see you can see that's too much fade and then it sort of gets its shape back when you put a bit. So we want just a bit more of that. Looks pretty good. I might just take a hint of blue out of the shadows just to make it more orange. Let the oranges come through a bit. Um, yeah, these are both ready to export. So what we'll do is just go, here's our before and after. For the eye, before. And after this one possibly could use some sharpening to the eye but I think we're pretty good so what we'll do is just select both of these and go export okay so remember he's done this on his Instagram so we want something like this where he's put the two images um, on top of each other in case okay, so the sponsor for this video picks up uh, cloud based editing software so you, so you don't need to download anything it's in the cloud it's just really easy to do photo editing so these are simplified version that's very easy to use or this one that has a bit more features so we'll go into this one what i'll do is just open an old photo bring in the photos add to current add to current and we look good so we've got our layers here simple tools over here really easy way to edit photos do the adjustments you need powerful but simple at the same time so pixel R links to try it for free it is free in the description here's our one um, right next to his one I think it looks really great um, yeah we nailed it I think his one maybe has a bit more shadow around the eye and stuff but I actually like the look of ours a bit more 
All right, so that wraps up that tutorial, guys. Comment down below who you want to see on this channel so I can go reach out to them, ask them to be a part of it. Check out the course if you want to go the next level, if you want to understand everything I'm doing in these YouTube tutorials. Join the course because then we go really in depth into smaller but really important questions like curves versus sliders and how to create the exact color you want and how to place that color exactly where you want. All the things that would take too long to explain in these YouTube tutorials because these are just giving you the information as quick as I can, the, the settings, showing you guys exactly how to do it very quickly. And the courses where we break down the why and really dive deep into lots of different topics. And then obviously all the guest editors and all the raw images you get, all the presets you get are in there as well. So check it out, super important if you're a video calibrator as well. And yeah, and also follow the course Instagram page and you can also follow my personal Instagram as well. If I didn't have your videos, I think those guest editors would would not be of much help because mm -hmm. you're doing stuff I would not understand you know your guidance so yeah. I think it's the combination that that really makes it valuable that's awesome exactly what I go for there I really like how you structured it even when you're watching a guest editor it's hard to you can see it and that that in itself is huge but then trying to understand you know what's in their mind why have they done that I think that can help you understand that that can help you create your own style that can help you be more deliberate and you know choose all these little building blocks to make your own uh, you know when when you define that so i find that and, and, and you're kind of searching for like the why you're doing that not just this is how is is, is super super useful and powerful